sustaining water facilities in Ghana's rural areas is challenging. Villages are in charge of repairs, but often don't have the money for it. Community members calling me to come and report and repair a hand pump for them at a village called Gamatama. Over six months now, this uh, community or this village, there are not many, and for that matter, they cannot sell this water and get money. Why? Because the paths are very expensive. Yeah. The wash cost project started in 2008 to look at the cost of providing a service. The research revealed that in most places, only a third of the population in the rural areas, those using boreholes and hand pumps, were getting the basic service. Because there are cases where you get your 20 liters of water per day, but you may have to walk more than 500 meters. And there were cases where the facility was not working, so we had more people using it. One of the standards is that a borehole and a hand pump should serve 300 people. That is a crowding. And we realized that there were cases where more than 300 people were using it. And that leads to long queues. From the research, we came up with the cost components that are necessary to deliver the service. When we talk of a service, we mean a certain quantity of water per person per day at a certain quality within a certain distance that is accessibility or the time that it takes to have access to the water and at a certain reliability. Washcast trained districts on the life cycle costs approach. The approach is a way of ensuring that the long-term costs for wash services are covered. Washcast emphasized the importance of taking the costs for direct support into account. Is this a problem the community themselves can just fix or they would have to wait um, or is it a problem that is bigger for external support? And we realize that those that are beyond them, that is when the, I think the assembly will come in and support them. When those you like give a facility to a community and you just leave it for them, you know very well they, they don't have that full capacity to manage it on their own. We need to constantly go down there to the community, the people, and give them the, the, the support in terms of building their capacities, making sure the assistants are in order, closely advising and monitoring them. We don't tend to do that much. In Ghana, Washcast is working on innovative funding mechanisms to make sure that the different costs for running a system can be paid for. The assumption which was wrong at that time was that the communities will take care of all operations and maintenance. And no mechanisms were put in place to ensure that communities could manage the maintenance. So the idea is to pull what the communities can afford together as a first step as we discuss with government to see how to fund it fully. That a facility like this may cost $40 a person to provide the facility. And on top of that, I need, let's say $2 per person to keep it running so that it will provide the service. And I can also tell you that this was provided at a cost of $40 per person 
At the moment, they are spending only 50 cents per person and only 30% of them are getting the basic service. But if instead of 50 cents a person, we increase it to $2 per person per year, then we'll have maybe 40%, 60% or 80% getting the basic service. After the training, the districts are now using the life cycle cost approach to prepare their budgets. And we expect that that budget will be taken up and it will lead to improved service delivery. When I get to some of the villages, they fed me, they give me drink, they give me food. Once they know water is life, 